Hello, Nico here. I am with John Borowski. Hello, everybody. Filmmaker, uh, working on the Gacy documentary. Gacy mini series, and yeah, you're visiting Nico. Yes, visiting Paris too. Yes, and yeah. I'm showing him one of my favorite graveyards, the Passy graveyards right next to the Eiffel Tower, which we'll v we will visit a little bit later, but maybe not for this video. Uh, right now we are showing you uh, a few things here and I will tell you a few stories as we walk. Sounds good, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, look at this one, I never noticed this. Oh, wow. wow. That's nice. I always notice new things when I'm in graveyards. Oh. Yeah, this one, I've always wanted to go inside, but I couldn't. Yeah. And the ones where you opened, were they in these? No, I, I, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> So he must be an artist because look at the inside of the. Oh wow! Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Look at this. Wow. And you can see on the sides it says. Thank you, young man. This cemetery is a very uh, old one, uh, not very well known even for Parisians. And what's really special about this cemetery is that there are a lot of uh, Russian expats who were buried there at the beginning of the 20th century after the um, Russian Revolution. So they, they moved, the, the aristocrats moved to Paris and they invested all their money in uh, graves. So there's a, a huge percentage of Russians who are buried there. So this is why you see uh, Orthodox crosses sometimes. And uh, uh, it's a very, very uh, nice cemetery full of trees. Yeah. What's your impressions? Uh, first impression, John? I mean, again, I love all the uh, statues because you know you don't see a lot of that, but out here you see a lot of these statues and yeah. even artwork and architecture on these tombs. Very beautiful. Look at this one. Stained glass. Yeah, there's a lot of stained glass in those uh, those, those very old uh, graveyards. And the, what's what's amazing is that they're intact. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. The, the amazing thing. It's not broken, broken or anything. Some parts, sometimes, in yeah, yeah, in the middle, it's broken. But sometimes uh, they're just completely intact. That's the thing. They just appreciate the artwork yeah. and the work. That Some works. of the stuff is completely new, like this one. Mm -hmm. That's just for storage. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> just for storage, <laughs> definitely. Also, what I like about this graveyard is that there's a lot of cats. Maybe we will see a, a few really? there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the dark yeah, here. Fantastic. Very cool. I just love their dogs. Or that could be a dog now. Yeah. Oh, it's probably their dog. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And do you know how old this cemetery is? Uh, I would say uh, 19th century, probably. Right. 19th century. It's not that old. Right. But it's still old. It, oh, yeah. This one, this is one of my favorite graves uh, here. Because you can actually see the crypts downstairs. So you have to turn like this around. And the creeps are exposed, as you can see. Uh, we will get shot if we go down there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I could duck. Okay. I'm from Chicago. Ima imagine the news: you and me arrested <laughs> down the crypt. Maybe. That that would make news, I guess. Uh, you know, it would make an interesting uh, <laughs> an trip interesting for me. Story. Know. Have you ever heard about that that anecdote about uh, what's this? His name, uh, Ver Werner Herzog. Yes, yes. The director, he went to me uh, to uh, Plainsfield, and oh, he wanted wow. to to steal the the tombstone oh, with a friend of his, an sure. American friend of his. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, one of those crazy uh, when uh, 
Herzog stories. He, he wanted to steal the uh, gravestone of uh, Ed Gein. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, see, you don't mean with historical relics, I believe, just leaving them where they are and viewing Yeah, them. exactly. So others could visit. Well, it's been robbed a few times, I think. Ed oh, yeah, and it's yeah. broken. It's in it's some, broken, I think yeah. it's in a uh, jail in Wisconsin. Like wow. The sheriff has it in the basement. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Exactly. This way, there's a very uh, few interesting graves that I am going to show you with lots of history. Yeah, I had awesome. to, to show this to John, it's the Demon family. Yes. And right behind you can see the top of the Eiffel Tower. That's right cool. behind it. It's really a, really a great shot to be made here. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. I wonder if the child was named Damien. Yeah. Damien Demon. <laughs> Damien Demon, yeah. <laughs> So okay. we are standing in front of a very special grave for me. Uh, I was showing John the exact location where uh, one of the this is one of the graves that I visited 30 years ago, and it's wide open now. Uh, back in those days, the door was locked, and uh, I had to pick it up. I see that now it's wide open but they seal the entrance that leads to the creek downstairs so those slabs that you see the creek slabs they are sealed now and you cannot have access to downstairs back in the days where i was doing this it was open there were stairs and you could actually go down and this is where i opened a couple of caskets uh, I'm totally telling about the, uh, the experience in uh, the Gospel of Blood. And that's it. Do you think they covered it up because of you? Probably. Yeah. There's another uh, tomb in Père Cemetery where I know for sure that they sealed the entrance because of me. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show it to you when we go to Père Lachaise. This, I know for sure that they sealed it because of me, because uh, of what I did. But this one, probably, it wasn't that way. I'm surprised because it's been over ages since I haven't uh, been there it's one of the few graves where actually there were reports of grave robbery in the 90s and uh, it appeared uh, when they were in, uh, uh, investigating my case so there were actual reports by the police the Parisian police about this grave well like I said I thought it was interesting that this is kind of up on a hill yeah we are yeah we are up there's a huge wall uh, this is called the Place de Trocadéro and uh, you can't see it from here but uh, there's an access to the Eiffel Tower and there's this famous place where Hitler uh, there's a famous of Hitler uh, with uh, the Eiffel Tower in the background and this is where, the, where it was taken so few people know about this graveyard uh, it's really hidden and uh, since it's uh, above ground few people notice few people don't even know it's a graveyard so you have to know. Yeah, I wouldn't have known. When you yeah. said a high wall, at first I thought a prison. Exactly. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Alright. And here we have the grave of relatives of Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know that Picard, the funny thing about Picard in French, in France it's a brand for frozen food. So oh there's right. like those places where it's written Picard. <laughs> and yeah. Trekkies love it. Yes, he loves it. Very cool. 
Oh, look at it, this one, yeah, with the gargoyles on top. Oh, yeah. This grave here uh, is the grave of one of the victims of the Concord crash. If you remember, in 2000 there was this uh, uh, crash uh, with the Concorde, and this is why they decided to stop commercializing those flights because they were too dangerous. And this is one of uh, the uh, uh, stewardess. Yeah. This is another magnificent grave uh, that I visited quite a few times when I was a teenager. This, uh, this grave I did not rob, but I would uh, get inside, there's a, a door there, and uh, I picked up the lock. lock it's still the same lock. I would open this door and just go downstairs and uh, bring a book or just sit there down with the dead for, for an hour or two. Magnificent art deco grave, really beautiful. Even just look at the decorations on the wall and uh, so much money in those graves. Beautiful. People don't do this anymore. No, it's just all basic. Yeah, it's like a it's, work of art. Yeah, it, it is a work of art, definitely. So all those things that I did, they happened during the day, as amazing as it sounds. Uh, I just went there only one night and I had found this access here by the statue that you see there. It's the only uh, place in the graveyard where there's no fence over the wall. So I spent an entire afternoon looking for a way in and a way out. And this was my uh, way in and out. I climbed over the statue to get out and uh, to get in. So that was uh, the only access point still there. <laughs> I always think it's interesting you know, how people, you know, imagine yeah. you know, creepy things happening at night. But that's yeah. not always Oh, this is amazing. We just found the grave of Ken Bianchi. See, there look at go. this. Wow. There we go. Ken Bianchi is in Paris. <laughs> he has the gift of duplicity. But it's a be beautiful grave. Wow. Congrats to Ken Bianchi. There you go. Yeah. This man's <laughs> <laughs> look at Mariner. So I cannot stress enough how intricate those monuments are and uh, the, the work that's been done on those graves mm. and as I said earlier you don't, you don't find this anymore in modern graves 
Look at this one, for example. It's just magnificent. Look at the the work on this. I think you can see the, uh, the inside of that. From the side. Now, do you have it on auto exposure? Yeah. Alright, uh, it's about time to go to the Eiffel Tower and uh, next we will uh, be heading to the catacombs yes. but yes, uh, I'm glad that you, you got to see uh, all those magnificent yeah. graves Oh, they're, they're amazing, like I said, the artwork and just yeah. the reverence, you know and Yeah, amazing, beautiful Yeah, exactly, it's, uh, it's a little known graveyard but uh, if you're going to Paris Honestly, it should be on your list if you're going to the Eiffel Tower. It's uh, right next to the, the Eiffel Tower. The metro station is called Trocadero. And uh, yeah, it's really, really definitely worth a look. Yeah. Thank you for watching this. See you next time. See you next time.